Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video I wanted to show you how I made this plush cookie keyring and this video was actually requested by Candice on my YouTube channel for request week. So to get started I took two pieces of plush fabric and this was actually in the colour Camel by Shannon Fabrics and in the Smooth Cuddle Plush number no. 3. So what you want to do is just kind of stitch around in a circle. Now you can draw this out if you find that easier to follow the lines or just stitch kind of by eye like I am here. It doesn't matter how neat that you do this or if you do it with a machine or whatever, just so long as the circle line is really secure with no holes in. Once you've stitched almost a full circle, you'll want to leave about an inch gap and then just cut off any excess around that circle shape. You'll want to leave the part where there's a gap, um, have like a little rectangle bit left on it, kind of like here, and this will help you turn it inside out in a minute. What you'll then want to do is take your scissors and just make teeny a tiny little cuts all the way around that circle shape. Now this is going to help it when it turns inside out so that you're not left with any like straight edges or anything like that. You'll then want to take these two little rectangle bits within your thumbs and then just turn it inside out and taking your index finger you'll then want to squish out all that circle shape to make sure all the fabric is kind of shaped in a nice circle like shape. Once this is done you'll then want to take some toy stuffing or pillow stuffing and you'll just want to fluff this up in your hands and then lightly stuff the shape. Once fully stuffed you'll then want to fold in the rectangle bits that we left on it and like I said this will make it easier when it comes to this part so that you can kind of turn them inside out and then stitch that and it will leave a really nice edge on and yeah so if you leave these bits it will make it easier. You'll then want to stitch up this hole just using a basic stitch and just cut off any excess thread. Next moving on to the chocolate chip part, you'll then want to take a darker brown thread and just tie a knot on the end. You'll then want to pull this knot through so that the knot is on the inside of the plush and then you'll want to just stitch away like going over and over the same spot until you have a build up of brown thread. Now this will act as the chocolate chip so it doesn't have to be neat, it doesn't have to be pretty at all, just make them in little clumps kind of all over the cookie to make the cookie chocolate chippy type effect. Now if you don't want to do this you can also use puffy paint, fabric paint, anything like that. That would be a lot easier but for this tutorial I wanted to stitch them. Now once you're done stitching them you can also cut the fluff around each chocolate chip to make them more visible as sometimes the plush on like plushy fabric and stuff can hide any stitch detail or anything like that so to make them really visible you can also cut the plush around them. So I went ahead and did a couple more of these off camera so I sped up the little video a little bit more and what I then did was took some black cotton thread and did this in the exact same way. So what I then did was obviously just went back and forth and back and forth with this black colour and this was just to make the eye. Now you can also use toy safety eyes, add beads, make little puffy pink face, anything like that to make it easier for you. But like I said, I just wanted to make this more of a sewing tutorial this time, so I just went ahead and sewed this on. Now this did take me some time to get each eye on, but once I had kind of like a rough shape, I then went ahead with little stitches and just stitched around this to make the shape more circular. I didn't want it to be like rough edges or anything like that, like the um, chocolate chips. I wanted it to be a more smooth, round, really defined shape for the eye. So as you can see here, I'll slow it down a little bit so that you can kind of see me doing those little stitches all the way around, kind of make that shape a little bit more rounder. So 
So once I had the first eye in place, I then went ahead and did a second eye and I did this off camera to kind of speed up the video a little bit more. What I then did was took the same black thread and just threaded on a little mouth in between both of the eyes and to do this I just made little stitches in and out to make the mouth in a little U shape. I did also cut off some of the plush fabric around this again to show the stitching up a little bit more. Once the face was fully in place, I then decided that I wanted a little bit more highlight on the eyes. So taking a piece of white cotton thread, I then threaded this through the back and pulled tight so that the knot was inside of the plush. I then lent down my needle on the eye, I wrapped around the thread about three times, I then pulled my needle back and threaded it through the eye again. I then pushed this right through the back of the plush and pulled tight. Whilst pulling tight, the loop then holds that little knot in place, making the little highlight ball that kind of occurs. What I then did was I posted that white thread through the back, making like a tiny, tiny little stitch that we wouldn't be able to see, and I just posted this through the other eye. Once through on the other eye, I did the same thing, so I lent down my needle, I wrapped the thread around three times, and then I pulled the needle back, and without going through those loops, I just poked it through the eye again. I pulled this out through the back of the plushie again, and pulled tight. Now, I've tried slowing this video down to real time, so this is actually me doing it at real time, so that you can see in depth of how I am doing this stitch, as I know a lot of people aren't fully competent at sewing, so this may help, and I really hope that it does, because I find this technique does come in handy quite a lot. What you then want to do is tie off your thread, so I just moved my needle to the bottom, like where I did the stitches before, and I just tied it here as this was the most like hidden place for my knot to be. So next I decided to add the keychain and what I did was took a similar colour to the actual plush fabric and I just posted this through the top of the little keyring and what I then did was posted it through the bottom link of the keychain. I then went ahead and took my needle and posted it through the cookie and then through that keychain and I just did this over and over and over until I was fully happy and fully secure. This again I'm doing in real time so that you can see how fast I do it and you can kind of see really closely about going through the cookie and through that keychain loop to make it secure. Once you're happy with this you'll then want to tie off your thread and to do this what I do is I go back through those stitches that we just did and then I go through the loop creating a knot. So I go back through those stitches, pull it tight to get a loop and pull through that to make a knot. I do this about two or three times to make this really, really secure, and then I cut off the excess. Once my keychain was fully in place, this was then complete. So I just want to say a huge shout out to Candace for this idea. I'm super happy with how this turned out, and I'm actually going to put it on my keys because I love how this turned out. And I'm not going to lie, it is so, so super soft. Like, I can't even describe to you how soft this fabric is. So, yeah, I just love it so much. Um, thank you to everyone for your request this week. It's been hugely grateful and request week obviously couldn't have happened without them. I hope you're enjoying these videos. Next week, I will be doing more Easter videos. So, yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe while you're down there. And I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.